welcome to Abstract Boss. It is Wine Wednesday, and I found these super cool cups at Walmart that, you know I love my Moscow mules, so of course I had to get the stemless wine glass that is also the same outside. So I was super excited, and now my favorite wine that I was turned on by my friend, it's called Ravage, and I freaking love it. Um, so I remember I told you guys last week that I was running out of wine. Um, and so I had to drink the bad one last week. Well, this is the good one. So it's a good week and it's a, it's a wine day. So I'm going to hop to it. I'm painting wood today and I have already put on that, um, washi tape, whatever the heck it's called. I already put that stuff on and I went around my entire piece of wood here and I just got this at Ross um, and then I made sure to get all the edge with extra tape as well I really wanted to make sure that this edge was clear of paint then I'm doing a couple experiments this piece of wood I only provided a lip of tape so that way hopefully the paint can kind of stay in it um, and then any cracks that happen I felt um, I'm gonna fill it with gold leaf and then this one I sealed it the same way as this um, so I just made sure to go around the entire edge with tape and it does take a lot of patience and a lot of pieces of tape but I think it's worth it I've done a piece with it taped off like this and I've also done a piece without and I very much enjoy having it taped off more because you get that live wood edge and I just think it looks really cool and then these two I'm just gonna do the half paint um, because all four of these are going to be coasters. So I'm going to do the half paint and then I'm going to line it with gold leaf on that edge where the paint meets the wood. And then this one I decided to do the tape just hanging over. That's it. So it's kind of like a ledge to where um, I'm kind of hoping that the paint just kind of plaps over here and avoids this altogether. So um, just kind of some experiments so that way I know what works best um, for not wasting tape because I don't want to waste money um, and getting that to work effectively. They're kind of dirty. There we go. Okay, so let's hop to it. This one, go ahead, got some paint on there, but who cares? It happens. Let's pour some white. And then I think what I'm going to do is this. So this one's going to be for all four of these and this one of course is going to be for that now i'm not going to show you guys how to mix the colors <laughs> i give up i'm not going to show you guys how to mix the colors um i do have a how-to video that's a little bit longer than my normal videos uh showing you guys how to actually mix them and my portions and all that good stuff did i get it off i don't know Oh. So, if you guys want to know how I'm doing all that, go check that out. I'm going to stick with all the colors in this one. And I'm going to stick with the blues and the reds in this one. And reds and white in this one. So, we'll see if I actually remember that I wanted to do that. Because I'm not very good at remembering those things. Now, the colors that I use, I'll give you guys a screenshot while I'm working on pouring all of these. All right, so now I'm going to flip the cups over and recheck my seal because this is not working. So I actually think that I'm going to pull this back a bit right here and add some more tape because it popped up a few times. So I don't want to accept failure there. broke for me. There we go. 
could just be that part of the wood. And you do have to deal with that, it's stubborn. So if anyone has tips on getting the tape to seal better, please let me know because I really struggle with that sometimes. All right. Okay, this one, flip. I'm gonna add some more white on this one. There we go. And then this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the blue sticks and I'm just gonna kinda twirl it a little bit because I feel like with it being layered, they're not gonna be very matched. Um, because I'm gonna have to flat out pour. So I kinda want to get them to match a little bit more. I only gave it a quick little like infinity symbol inside. And then now I'm gonna pour. So this though, I can see is already slanted. So that might actually be difficult. Let's do this. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so once all the paint comes off, you can kind of decide what you want to do from there. I actually might silver leaf this one because I think that'll look really nice. Okay, and then I'm gonna tilt this one around, bring it up just a little bit more actually. I think I might redo the other one just to have a little bit more paint on it and less of the wood. And shake. So I'm just trying to tap it all down. Because on these, I'm actually trying to cover the wood. Um, or at least making it look a little bit more messy. You don't want them to be perfect. Okay, let's add a little bit more up here. See, because I like the dark purple coming through these. So I might just like add some dark purple up here and some of that coral and then I can move it multitask oh, so good all right I like that. I, ha I like having just a touch of coral. And shake this one. Oh my god, that's cool. I like it. Let's change up that coral just a bit though. There we go. All right, let's move this one around. Now obviously this one's way too thick and it's guaranteed to crack when it's that way. So I'm going to take the least stuff that's going on and I'm actually going to pour that overboard. Bye bye paint. Oh, cool. Hmm. Ooh, careful. I didn't want that one to get on the bottom. So we're good. Okay. And then I'm going to leave that there. That looks really cool. I like it. Okay. Now this one, I can just move around to reach all the sides. Golden. And then I can leave it. But I'm going to have to pour some of it off. It's too thick. And if it's too thick, it could crack. Um, and that's just a pain in the butt to deal with. I'll probably end up silver leafing the cracks anyways. But... I don't want to force that to happen. Okay, so now I have blue on my hands. Wish I had my apron. <laughs> ah, wax paper doesn't work well for wiping your fingers. Okay. All right, now let's just try it real fast. <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh, I love it. You know what? This is like a perfect...
perfect Valentine's one. Isn't it? Yes! Okay, I love it. I'm gonna re-push down the tape. You stupid tape, please stay. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and push it that way, just real quick. Maybe that'll help the tape stay down. Oh man, this one's cool. So super freaking cool. <gasps> I love it. You know what's funny? I always seem to do red on Wine Wednesdays. I think that's a good thing though. Like, I really, really, really like this. Okay. Oh, so pretty. Look at that. So good. Okay, let's just hope this tape stays down. We'll see what happens. I will show you guys what happens when I take all this apart, of course. Oh, all right, last one. Let's see what happens. Now this one had all the colors in it, I think. Pretty sure I got all the colors. One, two. I think I wanna record this one because it's just got so many colors. I think that'll look pretty. Never mind, my phone doesn't recognize my thumbprint <laughs> with all the paint on it. Never mind. Okay, one, two, three. So cool. Oh yeah, let's get it like right in the white there. Set that over there. Get out of my cup. Okay. Ooh. I love this. Okay, we'll let that kind of do some stuff. I'm gonna torch the rest of these just uber quick. I really don't want a lot going on. So I'm just taking a super quick torch to it. No focus. Okay. Oh my gosh. I am loving this. Oh, oh wait, my fingers are wet. I don't wanna to touch the wood. Okay. Row, row. I'm gonna have to touch the wood. Ooh, no, I have gloves. Probably the first time anyone's gotten glove paint on the inside of a glove. Well, that's gonna be pointless. Never mind. I'll use it as a napkin. <laughs> uh, maybe my channel should be a hot mess. Just a total hot mess. Okay. I want to add a little bit more white. There we go. Mmm. Mm. That is awesome. All right. Hmm. I really want to keep this on there. So I might. Do this bit, oh, yes, let's do that. Okay, so I'm gonna do this white over here because I don't wanna lean it this way at all. I really don't. So I'm gonna spread the white out here, but that's it. Now, what I love about painting on wood is that it's ultra absorbent. So that actually ends up being an added benefit whenever I'm painting because I don't crack as often. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is let these dry and I'll come back. So if you guys enjoyed this part of the video, um, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'm going to do a short pause and bring it right on back um, to the unveiling. All right, we're back from our break. So you can see here the retaping did not work. Um, and it is tomorrow morning for me, Wednesday morning for me actually. Um, and so I have some coffee. Chose not to let you guys see my face <laughs> because y'all don't want to see me in the morning. 
But um, basically, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to untape. It's not perfectly dry. You can see that it's actually still wet. Um, or maybe you can. <laughs> but it shouldn't actually flow anymore, so that's why I'm going to go ahead and remove the tape and see what happens. This is the only spot that I'm worried that any of the tape actually came over. That sucked. Let's see if I can prevent that. Okay, so whenever something like this happens, I just ripped my paint, and if I would have been going slower, I could have probably saw it faster and prevented it faster, but I didn't, so I'm just trying to hold it down with my finger as I peel um, which seemed to work, so now this is going to be the perfect candidate for gold leafing, which I was going to do rose gold on this particular piece. There we go. So I'm trying to be slow, and I'm also trying to peel away. Kind <laughs> of like when you wax, right? You peel away from the grain. So there we go. Looks pretty cool. You guys can see how this worked. I actually might try to clean this up while it's wet. That's really the only time that you have hope to do that. Um, but everything else looks really sharp. I'm loving that. So let's move these and set that back there. As soon as I'm done with the recording, I'll get to that. Okay, so I'm going to speed through uh, undoing the tape on the other two coasters. The lip worked pretty well. Um, sorry, I only got to one because I had to say something. The thing is, is it has an edge of the acrylic paint now, so I'm sure I'll probably just be able to sand that off, but just wanted you guys to see that and kind of give note of that. Okay, next one. All right, last one. This one was just the lip of tape. This would obviously be the easiest one because you could just start in one area and pull around. But you know what? I think I'm gonna go back to my painter's tape. I was told that this tape would be just fine, but I don't like it. I don't think it removes as easy as the painter's tape does. So keep that in mind whenever you're going to do this project. Don't use this washi tape stuff. Um, I mean, it's fine-ish, but painter's tape works so much better when it comes to not pulling up the paint. There we go. Perfect. Oh my gosh. This one looks awesome. Oh, I'm in love. Ah, and it's stuck to paint. Cool beans. There you go. Look at that. You can see that it's still wet. It needs to dry. But I am loving this. Let me know what you guys think below. Leave a comment and a thumbs up. Um, see which, let me know which project was your favorite. The coasters, the full lip, or the full coverage. Um, this one only ended up leaking because the coverage didn't actually stick down. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean this up. I am so excited. Look how much paint I got off. You guys can see that this was the spot that went over. Um, you could still see a little bit of paint in there. Just a little bit. But I'm going to tell you what I did. Okay? I'm going to tell you because this is, uh, it's life changing. I used a toothbrush and nail polish remover and I scrubbed at it. Um, of course, be careful not to get anything on the top. Um, you know, because that's going to ruin your lovely painting. But look at that. So beautiful. So you're not even going to be able to tell once I put resin on this. And just wanted to share that with you guys real quick. All right. Have an awesome day. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on Friday.